Hi and welcome to this quick tip video where I'm going to demo Power Query in Excel for Mac. As you can see on my screen, this is a Mac. This is Excel inside of a Mac and this is Power Query. So how did I get this coming? Uh, how do I have this come up in my Excel? I'm going to close this. And uh, if you have not watched my video on how to enable also it will be on Microsoft the Office Insider and Insider Fast, which is now called Beta Channel. Uh, you need to watch that video, but I can quickly show you. Number one step is ensure you are, if you go to help, check for updates, ensure that uh, clicking on advanced, you are on Beta Channel. So that's step number one. You can watch my video on that if you uh, seem confused. Once you do that and you update, you start having new features. So currently, this Power Query is a beta product, beta product, um, beta feature. Like it's not in the generally available channels in the current channel and other channels. It's until you're in beta channel that you'll be able to see this feature come up in your Excel. All right. So I'm going to click on it. Whether you click on the icon or you click on the arrow, right? You still see the Get Power Query, Get Data. Power Query. You click on it, it, pr it brings you right here. Currently, you can pull data from just Excel workbook and a text CSV, you know, a text or CSV file. Uh, which one should I start with? Uh, let's start with from an Excel workbook. So I'm going to click on from Excel workbook. So you see the, uh, it kind of look nice, neat. I do browse. I'm going to pick uh, any file. Okay, let me pick a file that has different sheets in it. So I pick this, I say get data. And as you are familiar with Navigator in Power Query, you're going to see something similar also here. So you see, I have the familiar Navigator experience. I pick, I click on any of the sheets and I'm seeing a preview of what the data is like. Okay. So which should I pick? Let's pick this. Naturally, you will, if you look at my data, you see there are col there's column 6, which I do not need. There's column 7, which I do not need. I, there are some things that uh, if I was doing this on Windows, I will not want to load. I will want to transform. Unfortunately, you can't transform. <laughs> so you can only load, So which uh, makes it very, very handicapping. You know, like, uh, will I now manually be deleting? What's the only sense of having a power query if... I can't go and do automatic transformation. So it's still in process. You know, they've started the journey. They definitely had those features. I don't know when or how soon. Uh, so that's for using a workbook. So let's go pick the other option where we are picking from a text CSV. So I'm going to pick this. I'm going to browse to a really large text. <laughs> So I have a file called Big Data. It's over 2 million rows of data. Uh, it's going to complain anyway in the end because unlike Power Pivot, uh, fortunately this one in Mac, there is no Power Pivot yet. So I can't take it you know, from Power Query to Power Pivot or to the model side. So that 2 million rows of data is going to start coming up with the normal Excel error of Oh, it can only show me 1,048,576 rows. Uh, if I click load, it's going to really, really take a lot of time. So I'm going to click, just assume I've clicked load because I've done it before. So this is what comes up when I click on load. I'm going to show you. So as usual, you know, when you're in, Ma in, in Park where it locks up every other thing. So... Uh, Hmm. I wanted to show you what the file looks like. Hmm. Okay, not a problem. We're going to click on load, then I'll stop the video <laughs> because it takes a lot of time. Huh? So I go here back to data, uh, get power query, this, this, I pick this, I say next. I say load and so you see it's doing its work right so after some it took about 
how many minutes it took like seven uh, like five minutes when i did it the first time i'm not going to wait that long so what i'm going to do i want it to prompt me that the size is too large so you see for yourself what i talked about the if the size is larger than the rows are, no, are more than what excel can display you know excel has like a max row uh this so once that comes up i'm going to end the video or maybe i won't wait for it to come up let's see if i oh so this is what it looks like <laughs> i just remember i even have it here so this is what the data looks like when it's done and uh, thank you very very much i know i jumped that part where you're supposed to see it's still running it's going to take a lot of time but when it's done this is what it looks like i just remember it's in here so thank you see you in my next video